rushing to come and fight with me. I was like, what is happening? Just like that. Today I'm going to be doing story time on my first year in uni. So I'm going to start from straight from my house, guys. I come from a very strict African home. So that I heard that I'm going to school in Accra. Yeah, I school in Accra. I'm Nigerian. I stay in Nigeria. I was like, no, it's not. It's not my house. No, I'm dreaming. I, I've changed house. Like my mom has not been allowing me to go out to anywhere, and this time she's sending me somewhere else. I was. I thought I was going to go to uni inside my room. Oh. Like. <clears throat> It was just a reason my mom just gave me time to start coming back home. Before, I can't even step my leg outside here. So, I was really, really having mixed feelings. I don't know, because I didn't know how to start acting outside. Because if I was in boarding school, I don't know how I was going to behave. Because I'm always locked up in the house. Like, how am I going to even socialize? Like, what am I going to come and start seeing? And I'm shy on top of that. Like, I am shy. So, let's move now to how my mom bought me food store. Bought me everything for school. The day that was the day I was leaving the house, they said my mom said I should carry it. I was like, no, I'm not going with any food stuff. I just want to go with my box. And I was just feeling so I don't know. I that thing used to happen to me. Actually, when I used to go to boarding school before, when they are about to take me to school, like I start crying. Like maybe they'll be like, Did you take this? I was like, I took it. So that's excuse me. So that's what I used to do most times. Tell you guys this thing before we move and I forget about it. Do you guys know that when I was sleeping the night before the day I was going to school, my mom and my sister came to my box, removed my clothes, like my sexy nighties, my bomb shorts. I'm always wearing bomb shorts. Even right now, I'm even wearing bomb shorts. I wear bomb shorts, I stay in the house. Like, it's like all those clothes, she removed them from my box. Even the ones I was going to use to sleep, she removed them from my box. And I didn't know about it. So when I reached school, so then I fast forward, I... I left from Abuja to Accra, so when I was in the pain, I was like, wow, <laughs> so this is really happening, like, this is really happening, this is not a dream, my mom has finally allowed me to go somewhere else, finally, it is now reality, now, I am going to be responsible for my actions, but right now, I'm the one who, is, who can tell myself, wake up if you like, sleep, hold it if you like, go to class if you like, stay if you like, like, this is not my future like this is not my life if i mess up i mess up so it's like wow that's huge so fast forward now i arrived at accra and i cried in the plane yeah before i forget i was just crying i don't know why i was crying but i was just crying then i arrived at the airport i called my school i was like what's up i'm a student and i just arrived at the airport please come and take me to school blah 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 and they came i was like wow <laughs> this is very very nice just some young young set of people i was like wow what are these guys <laughs> with funny faces? <laughs> but they work in the admin block, guys, because in Nigeria, I we know there is already old old is old old people that they put in admin block here in Nigeria. And with pregnant women with attitude, that's what they used to put in admin block. So I was like, okay, that's new. So I saw them, I was like, hi, my name is Izzy. And they were really nice enough to bring a student. Like they really helped me because <laughs> A lot was going on in my head, like I was so scared. I was, I was like, should I call my mom and tell my mom I don't want to school here? Like I just want to go home. The student said was not just me, telling me they have this in the school, they have that, the school is like this, the school is like that. I was really happy, like I was feeling like welcome. We now reach the hostel. That's where the shit got real. When we, when we reached the hostel, I, and I saw a bunch of boys outside. I was like, <laughs> What is going on here? I said, excuse me, sir. He's like, you brought me to the wrong hostel. He was like, no, this is your hostel. I was like, eh? This is my hostel with guys in it. No, I, I don't like this one. Take me to the one with all girls. He said, no, there is no hostel with all girls. It's mixed. And I said, please, help me your phone. Let me call my mom. I just called my mom. I told her, mommy, this hostel is mixed with both guys and girls. That's kind of thing my mom don't want to hear. It was definitely like this. She would just say, Take the next place and come back home. She was like, What sort of nonsense is this? Why didn't they tell you before you came? Guys, in your hostel? I kept quiet for some time on the phone. And she was like, Okay, cool, just go inside and stay. I was like, Okay, cool. And I said, Before I enter the hostel, I want to see if there's girls in the hostel. They had to go and knock door by door and beg, and beg the girls to come outside. And the girls came outside. So I was like, oh, Okay, there's girls in the hostel. 
So they now took me to my room. I entered my room. They told me that my roommate is not around. She's a Guinean. So she just came to drop her things and she went back home. Now fast forward, guys. I stayed in that room for five good days. I did not come outside. I was just taking cereals. There was there is this particular series I take. Like I do not take any series except Infinity series. So that was the only thing I picked inside my box. That series saved my life. I, I was eating once. I was not even getting hungry. I don't know if the change of environment or what was happening. I do, I don't even get hungry. The, the series I just forced myself to eat it. I just saw sugar on my roommate's table, so I was just using it. And I wasn't even taking with milk with water. Me that love milk. I couldn't come outside. I was just sitting down on my room. I, I had no SIM card. I was not online. I was just on my phone playing games. Then one guy just came. T. So T came and knocked on the door. And when I came outside, he was like, I thought you're not in this room. Like, how, why have you been locked up in this room for days? Have you eaten? That was the first thing he said. When he said, have you eaten? Like, tears went to fall from my eyes. Have you gone outside? That, I was like, no, I've been inside here for days. He was like, wow, for days. Just come outside. I, I went to take my phone, dress. The outside, he took me outside. He bought me food. He bought me SIM card, bought me credits. Ha. Huh. I was just really, really grateful for that guy. He now bought me food, bought me everything. Showed me around. He showed me room by room, introduced me to everyone. And I was really glad. That somebody at least even thought about me because i was really really i think if i was going to add two more days in that room i would just collapse inside the room my roommate came i was really happy because she said not not from ghana i mean not not from nigeria ah it rhymed i was like i oh, can't be speaking outside in this room thank god finally i'm tired of speaking english so and, and now i was not really happy she was really cool really chilled they said in one at you that i didn't really like she used to go out in the midnight and leave the door open. And we had only one key. So, like, it kept going on, on and on. But before that, let me take you back. She called me when I came first. When she came first, she called me, told me, ah, I'm a first student. Boys will be rushing me, blah, 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 blah. This, that. I should not, like, be too occupied with the attention i'll be getting from boys i should remember what i came here for like, okay thank you very much for your advice and all of that i was like okay cool so this guy used to always do that like it kept happening and then i said waking up in the night to lock the door when she goes out when she goes out, i wake up and i lock the door every time so she'll now come back by 6 a.m and come and knock on my door I'll knock on our door and I'll have to open it. And that's what I don't like in my life. I don't like wake I do not like people waking me up from my sleep. They just leave me alone. Whatever it is, you can wait. As long as I'm going to wake up, I'm going to do it. Then I just told my friend, I had this friend. She also came in February and I came February, February student. So we applied for a new room and we got the room. Like just two of us. I was really happy and I left. You don't know, know that my roommate always used to go out that night and go and meet her boyfriend. Her boyfriend was just next door. Like when you open the door, the next door, that's where she sleeps. She has never slept on her bed. Like maybe unless I'm not around, but she's always sleeping in his room. It's like, okay, married couples in school. So the fact that she was doing all these guys, guys things and she was hiding it from me, like it was making me confused because I'm like, what is my own? What is my business? Like, I know a business can do what you want to do with your life. So fast forward now to and I got a new roommate. Everything was now cool. I was now enjoying school. Life was sweet. Now first day in school. My first day in school when I went to school. So the school bus will come and pick us up in the hostel by is it seven or eight? I don't remember. It picks us and takes us to school every morning and brings us back. But yeah, my first day in school was French class. That was when one guy was called Professor Ne got the name professor from that class he was asked to introduce himself and he said professor or something like that but yeah that was my first day in school i finished classes everything the bus was ready for us to go but i had to do some registration in the admin block so when i went to do it the driver left me i don't like that driver i don't like that guy he's always rushing i don't know where he's rushing to i was like hey how am i going to go home i don't know the way and i called my friend i was like Please, they left me in school. How am I going to come home? She now sent me how I'm going to come back home. Then I said, okay, cool. Then on my way, I got missing. I went somewhere else. 
I didn't even know where I was. I was just shaking. I just called my friend on the phone and I gave the phone to somebody else. I was there because guys in Ghana, they always like to speak tree. She came to pick me up from there and I went back. Everything was cool. Now nah, life was chilled. I was like, God, is this me? I'm not in school. I can choose to go out whenever I like. I can choose to come back home. Even if I like 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 3 a.m., whenever I like. Is this me? I'm really living La Vida Loca. Like, this is me. My spirit just told me, calm down. Like, it's not worth it. Just discipline yourself. The fact that your mom is not here doesn't mean that you should misbehave, blah, 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 and all of that. I was like, yeah, that's true. That was the first time I started disciplining myself, guys. Even my, even though my mom was not there, I come, I make sure that I am back before past six. I was really, really disciplining myself. I was like, I'm not going to let this freedom like enter my head too much, cause man, <laughs> I would have not been here. Like I would have been messed up, messed up. Fast forward to friends now. I got only two friends my new roommate and her friend that became my friend everything was chilled i was enjoying life i used to go to the mall to eat to chill everything was posh for me everything so now three of us guys now this is where the fights they're happening from me and my friends so fighting the other person, the other girl, went to the other girl that I said this about her. Like, this is the shit that girls do that I really do not like. Like, I'm not scared of anybody. If I have a problem with you, I'll come to you. I'll come and tell you. I'll come and tell you right in your face. Unless I, like, I'll just let it be. Like, I'll just let you go. And when I let you go, I'm not telling anybody about it. Like, it is past, it is past, it has gone. The girl who said that told my roommate, like my new roommate, that I said this about her. She's even my roommate. How can I live with some... Man, I cannot stay with somebody if you're, like, I'm having a problem with you. I cannot even sleep. Like, I cannot even stay close to you. I'm the person that when you annoy me, I just leave the environment where that person is. I don't even want to be there. So I was like, okay, when the girl comes, let three of us sit down and let me ask her what she said I told you so we can say it in front of each other and trust everything else because... That's how me I am. Like I don't just like complicated situations. Something that is very easy. I don't like people to make it complicated. Girl came to my hostel and I was like, eh, okay, thank God three of us are here. This person said you said I said this about her. So what is it that I told you? Please can you say it for all of us to hear so that we will settle everything? She's shouting. Blah 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 blah. She even said shouting at the girl too. Why did you go and tell that man? I said this about blah 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 blah. So my friend said. Let's just go outside before we cause unnecessary drama in the hostel. Because that's the kind of thing they like in hostel. They like drama. Then, we now left. She was now rushing to come and fight with me. I was like, what is happening? Just like that, you want to fight me? Like, So, my, the other girl held her. Guys, I don't used to fight, to be honest. I don't used to fight. I don't fight at all because i know myself i regret things a lot so i used to think before i do anything so i was like me outside this hostel come and fight with you <laughs> as the way boys are feeling me like this inside this hostel i should come and disgrace myself and downgrade my levels i'm gonna be fighting on the streets i said no me i'll let you disgrace yourself oh. i'll not fight you i'll just like and again that girl like was always looking for small small things to fight me like can you imagine i went to buy my pickups like five of them this girl said she was going to take one. I was like, no, I needed them for something. That's why I got them, like, different types. This girl was fighting me because of it. She was dragging me. So she was trying to fight me. And then I also used to wear anklets. She used to criticize me, like, why are you wearing anklets? Why are you wearing this? Why are you wearing that? To cut the whole story short, I just told her that, okay, it's cool. Like, I understand you. Like, I don't want to be your friend anymore. We are cool, though. When I see her, I still say hi. I still say hello. But, like, just go your way and I will go my way. I just packed my clothes. I just went off campus to go and meet my friend that was staying outside the campus. Like, that friend was my only friend till the very last. My best, best friend. So, <laughs> hi, Sandy Boo. Guys, let me tell you one funny story. So, do you know that this girl is criticizing me for wearing anklets? Well, when we stopped being friends, she started wearing anklets. I was like, oh, okay. I get a lot of drama was happening in the hostel that I needed to just excuse myself and just leave and just leave that place. Like hostel is full of drama, guys. Drama, the boys. So there was this guy that told his friend to come and tell me that he likes me. The friend came and told me that he likes me. He didn't tell me that his friend likes me. He said he he likes me. 
I was in this very complicated situation. So the boy was now be looking at me, thinking like, ah, his friend is like yabbing me for him now, or is that the slang? Is that the pigeon that they used? I don't know. But like, to okay, toasting me for him. Me, I was just looking at him like I don't even know him. I don't even know his name. And the friend would not tell him that yes, he has talked to me. Blah blah blah. I said I'm even feeling him. So this guy became really really close to me like. I used to tell him like how sad I am. Like I just lost my I lost my dad of recent before I came to school. So I was really, really down. Like I was down. That story for another day. But I used to tell him about all my sorrows. And that's kind of that kind of bond if you create to somebody like hmm. I don't know about other people, but that kind of bond is strong. Like it is strong. Cause it's not just anybody that will just come and start telling you their heart issues cry in front of you we were really close and he also tell me about his family blah 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 and all of that stuff i said to feel the guy like that not knowing that he had a girlfriend that one is story for another day what's going on so it was too much to him that he just came up to me i was like hey what's up my name is this my name is that blah 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 blah. can i get your number i was like okay cool i gave him my number and then he said telling me that he told his friends come and tell me that he likes me blah 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 has a friend be telling me i was not like confused so the friend was not was so at for from the very first beginning the friend was not even checking me like that it was because of his friend that he came to talk to me and then now he now switched up and said he likes me rather so it became a serious problem like this story is not for today but it was really complicated i was i also had this guy in my class and I was always disturbing me. He came one time and wanted to kiss me, guys. I just give him a dirty slap in class. So me, when I came, like I was not doing all these boys, boys thing. You know, to be honest, like I even really used to like doubt my sexuality. So I was like, don't ever, ever try that with me again. Like, don't try that with me. I'm not the person. Like, I'm not even checking you like that. So like, why are you coming to me? He came to class. He just drew my face. Like, hi. He now did like, he just bah, his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> let's hope that this video will do well then i'm going to do a part two i'm going to give you guys a full gist of the boy's issue like his girlfriend coming to the picture the friend being betrayed me being confused i don't know what is going on. i cannot even think anymore like so you now make sure you like comment and subscribe